John Kurtz here from KEXP. Very happy to be talking here with Justin Towns. Earl, welcome. How you doing? KEXP. You got a new record out. Tell us about the new one. Uh, just came out last week. Just came out, and we're uh, it's called Midnight at the Movies on Bloodshot Records, and we're just you know getting out and seeing what we can't do with it here at this point. It's all new songs. All new songs. And you have a, a partner here with you, Corey. Tell us about you doing like, like almost a double brothers kind of thing. Yeah, we do. We, we perform as a duo because it's as weird as we need it to be and as, as full as we need it to be without costing me a bunch of money. Yeah, it's like your dad in his last tour with the DJ. He cut it back to basics. Yeah. Is that what you need to do nowadays? Uh, I think it's I think it's a wise thing to do these days. I mean, it's one of those, this is one of, like, the, the music business has been changing a lot for the past 10 years real drastically, but really, nobody really knows what in the hell is going to happen over the next six months to a year. It could really, really, like, the rug could be yanked out from under us all at any time, and so you got to make it while you can. Yeah. So your influences go back to people like Hank Williams, the original Hank Williams, and Lightning Hopkins and things. Is that where you find your inspiration? Well, I mean, I can, I get even further back than that. Yeah. People like Charlie Poole and and stuff like that. But I mean, my my inspirations are also you know uh, Chet Baker and Motorhead. You know, <laughs> so it's like it's 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 pretty much just whatever. I I listen to a lot of different music. I mean, and, and almost all of it in, influences me, probably with the exception of of whatever amounts of hip hop I listen to, which isn't much, but there's some. And uh, but it's not. I'd say that doesn't creep its way into my music. But what do you think about like current country music now? The stuff that to me sounds like 70s rock. Well, it sounds like really bad 70s rock. <laughs> yeah. is what it sounds like. I wasn't gonna say that. Yeah, it was really badly executed 70s rock. And and yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, you know, I think that the people that do that, the people that make it, and the people that perform it, and the people that write it, really deep down in their heart, know that they're putting a scar on the face of country music that will n never be recovered from. You know, because there's always gonna be like. You, you always had bad decades, but we've had a bad about 30 years, you know, of just small things coming out that were good and the really great stuff not really breaking the surface, you know, and, uh, and uh, you know, it's like uh, the 80s produced George Strait. That's about the only thing that I listened to, 80s and, uh, and Dwight Yoakam, I love yeah. that first Dwight Yoakam record. Yeah, yeah. But it's been a scary time for country music for a long time, and, and you know, and I'm not a country musician I just like I like using the flavor of it here and there and, but I would never go so far to call myself a country musician or a, any rate a national country musician well you t you're happy to talk about your dad Steve Earl and he definitely fell in the cracks too what he did because he started as kind of a rock and roll musician where he came over to singer songwriter yeah yeah I think that you know I don't know I think that he he kind of he he did the same thing, like he, he made Guitar Town and then he was afraid he was going to get pigeonholed as a rockabilly act for the rest of his life and so he went drastically <laughs> the other direction to yeah. combat it. And so I kind of, I, I took a little bit of a lesson from that when I started off and, and even though I do lean heavily toward a honky-tonk sound, I don't think I get too far into it to where I can't find my way out. You know? One last question is, uh, your middle name is Towns and we're here in Austin, Texas, so I have to ask you about Towns Van Zandt. Mm -hmm. You're, you took his name, but do you, do, do you go back and listen to his music and find you really find uh, some special qualities about Towns' music? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, I think Towns Van Zandt was, I mean, I agree with my father and the fact that Towns Van Zandt was the greatest songwriter that ever lived. I think that he just, he had a way with words that that uh, nobody else, nobody else could really touch. You know, and it's really just simple stuff. It's just he, he manages to find those, those little twists to pop on it that just nobody else will think about. Most people only heard their music because Emmy Lou Harris a few of them covered some of the songs like Foster yeah. Lefty. They didn't hear his stuff. Well I mean that's a shame. You find that in Nashville a lot and you find that in Austin, Texas. You know people just don't know who Towns is and I think that's mainly it's I mean that's mainly like one of those things where it's like the the video games took too much out of the younger generation for them to discover shit like <laughs> Towns Van Zandt. Yeah. You know? And well, so I hope people go back now and check it out. I hope they do too. Yeah. Thanks, Ted. Thank you, Justin, for talking to us. Let's go downstairs and hear a couple songs. All right. All right. Thanks. Thank you. KXP here down in Austin, Texas, at South by Southwest. Let's welcome Justin Towns Earl. Justin. I'm a 
find me a woman, I'ma treat her down right low She'll cry me a river and my crops going to grow Then I'll get another girl and put her up the street So if one don't feed me, then I still can't be all right I used to cuss, used to lie, steal, cheat, and cause a hell of a fuss. But I give up that drinking now. I walk that line, but I still get higher than the Tennessee Mines. All right. Probably the I've been broken had me one thin dime, me a loaded pistol or some loaded dice. Cause I'm no ordinary man. I don't have to work, I just take what I need and nobody gets hurt. All right. Well, I was looking at me now, you might say that I look worn just cause my shoes are tattered and my coat is torn off. But once I look good, I wore silk on my back and drove a Cadillac car to tip the steps and had on. My daddy set me down, he said, listen to me, son, don't you ever cause no trouble and you'll never have to run. But my mama, she knew better, said I remind her of her pop. She said, boy, you keep moving and you'll never get caught. She said, boy, you keep moving and you'll never get caught. Yeah. All right. I'll play something, uh, something sweet. I am my father's son Never known when to shut up And I ain't fooling no one no more I am my father's son We don't see eye to eye And I'll be the first to admit I've never tried Sure it hurts, but it should hurt sometimes We don't see eye to Pleasure in the feel of her sin. And I went down the same road as my old man, but I was younger. That's 3 a.m. and I'm standing in the kitchen, holding my last cigarette. Strike a match and I see my reflection in the mirror in the hall And I say to myself I've got my mama's eyes A long thin frame and a smile And I still see wrong from right I've got my mama's eyes Yeah, I've got my mama's eyes Thank you. One more? Yeah. We can probably do that. Let me see. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let me tune this thing. I'm, I'm gonna have to cheat and use my. Where's my? Uh, 
Where's my phone? Yeah, I do, but I don't have my phone for some reason. It's in your case. Oh yeah, that's right. Actually, I think that's good enough. That'll do it. Lo-fi lounge. That's right. <laughs> Died, he lay looking at the sun He said, Lord, take me now My work is done Lord, 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 take me now My work is done Yeah, the wind they laid him out In that box of pine Boy, they laid that hammer by his side Lord, Lord, laid that hammer by his side Yeah, and Joe Hill, he was any job he could find, boy, he'd rake your leaves and pick your vine, Lord, Lord, rake your leaves and pick your vine. Yeah, and they killed Joe Hill, put a bullet to his name, but that bullet made a martyr of the slain, Lord, Lord, bullet made a martyr of the slain. Yeah, my granddaddy worked his whole damn life Well, he never saved a nickel, though he tried Lord, Lord, never saved a nickel, though he tried And he died in Tennessee, but he couldn't find no rest With that long road to Texas lie ahead Lord, Lord, long road to Texas lie ahead Yes, who I ain't no great man, and Lord, I expect to lead a long life working in you, dead Lord, Lord, a long life working in you, dead. They killed John Henry, they killed John Henry, they killed John Henry, but they won't kill me, Lord. They killed John Henry, they killed John Henry, they killed John Henry, but they won't kill me. Thank you. Yeah.